in the dirty Dodge on a Saturday, on a rainy Saturday in mid-March. What is that? Oh, what's up guys? Tyler here with Random Automotive. Well, as you see on the trailer, I got a mower. This is a Cub Cadet XT1. Doesn't have the Intelli technology. It's just kind of the basic throttle. But we're gonna kind of give a little overview of it and uh, talk about what we got here. So this is the Cub Cadet XT1, the 42 inch model, as you can see below, the smaller deck. Don't need much more for what I've got out here. Let's uh, take a look at the controls on it and uh, see how she works. So the, from the first thing you can tell, this thing has LED headlights, which is not very common on mowers yet. You'd think it'd be a little bit more these days, but starting to get there. Again, 42 inch deck. Does, this model does not have the Intelli whatever. It's just got the throttle switch there. Key switch is on the right side. Going around, you got your trailer hook up in the back. Which I do pull a little trailer with this sometimes. You do have wheels on the uh, the deck down below. Hose connection to wash it out. Something I really like about this is the fuel filler neck is actually on the outside. The old Troy built that I used to have was actually on the inside. While well, we got this popped open, let's take a look at the engine. It's a Kohler 5400 series, 18 horsepower. You got your oil here. Your oil filter is there. Fuel filter is right there looks pretty good your air filter and carburetor is right here and your fuel tank is where they are in most places got a nice air suction system on the top pretty standard let's hop on it and take a look at some of the amenities on it so you do have a nice full grip steering wheel it's easy to turn actually you can hear my dog just howling away up there so your parking brake slash cruise control set is over here. Your key switch, you do get a voltmeter and an hour meter. So 12.5 volts, that is a blank button and so is that one. And half an hour on this mower, she's brand new pretty much. So your, your brake is stayed locked in to release it, you push. Almost dropped the phone. That's how you set it there. Your pedal is a two stage. Forward is forward, backward is back. Pretty simple. Nice seat, it's got the uh, slot in the back, so your rear end don't get all nice and warm in the summer. You got your deck control here. It's got about 15,000 stages between one and four. And they just lock right in, pretty nice. This is your um, blade engage here. So to engage, you just push forward, lock in, Obviously, it won't start that way, but. And your throttle controls on the left side. On your left side, you've got a cup holder and a little spot to put your phone. Fits perfectly right there. So we'll go ahead and crank her up. Let's talk about different functions of the key switch really quick to kind of show you how that works. Because um, every mower is different. And this one's a little bit different to get started. It's already a little dirty. Brought it home on the trailer over there, and it was raining a little bit. So obviously, left is off to start. You would go all the way to the right and turn like a normal key switch with your foot pressed on the brake pedal when you do and make sure that your uh, blades are disengaged. So another feature is you can mow in reverse. Sorry, I still have a zip tie on there. You can mow in reverse with this uh, mower, which is nice. Um, so as a safety feature, what you'll have to do is turn the key to the left to the reverse position, then press the triangle to activate. You get a red LED telling you, hey, you are in reverse mode, so use caution because there's no safety on there. But to turn that safety off, you just go back into forward, one click, and it automatically deactivates. Back to reverse, push the triangle to activate. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and crank her up. A couple other things real quick before we do. The seat adjustment is right here. There is no, is nice and automatic, or not automatic, but it's almost like a car adjustment. Uh, for the seat 
instead of having to take it off, unbolt it. While I'm at that, let's take a look at one more thing really quick. Under the seat, you have the, the fuse on the positive terminal. It's a 20 amp fuse along with your battery and your uh, safety switch on the uh, seat here. In case you were to bounce off of it, you don't go flying and get run over by your own lawnmower, which is nice. Sometimes they're annoying, so, you know, whatever. And that's pretty much it. I mean, we'll do some maintenance on it in the future, but that's uh, the overview. You got a little storage area here. So this is kind of a video for people who are expecting to buy this mower. Let's go ahead and crank it up. So you'll push the brake pedal all the way in, or if it's locked into the park position, like so. We'll put the choke on. So the choke is the throttle position lever all the way up. Turn the key to on mode. You'll get a voltage readout right there, 12.4 volts. Headlights automatically come on in half an hour. Um, that's your hour meter. So we're good to start. You may not hear me much after I start it. Throttle all the way back down the bottom once it starts. Alright, disengage park and brake. And forward to go. Reverse. If you want to get off the mower, if you want to get off the mower while it's running, just set the park and brake. Now you can get off and kill the engine. So that's a little overview of this video or this uh, this mower, guys. Um, you're welcome to ask as many questions as you want, and I'll try to answer them if I know the answer to them. Uh, it's just a little overview of how this works. We'll do some maintenance on it at five hours, so we'll try to get that on video. So until then, we'll catch you in the next one. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe too.